and for like walking out of it. It's 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 very grim. Um, but like you know that that would be an example of something America could do to help. Um, you know, like in a humani- in a humanitarian sense, is I don't know, just you know, make it easier for people to a- escape a war zone. I don't know. I, I'm just uh, it's just just an idea here. But uh, actually, uh, speaking of people in conflict zones, if you guys, I, I know you guys have been following our boy uh, T- uh, Terrell in Ukraine. Oh He's my like, God, Terrell, Terrell's the Russian star. He is honestly, he has become the star of this war. You know, I mean, I, I know everyone says, oh, it shouldn't be all about America, but you know, I got to follow my guys. What are my guys He's, up to? I mean, and Terrell has been absolutely just, I mean, t- to accidentally report on war crimes your first week in the country is, I mean, he's like, he's like, he's the, he's the new Seymour Hirsch, in my opinion. And you know what? If he doesn't step on a mine or run into the, ro- the wrong right wing militia uh, in a bad mood and gets out of it alive, he's going to have a huge career. He's, I've seen him on MSNBC. I, saw, I think it was Ari Velshi, that guy. And he was, he said after, uh, after they were done, he says to the camera, he's like, doing incredible work here. We're really, we're really indebted to him. Like, just pouring it on for this fucking idiot. So, yeah, this is going to be another uh, fail upward type situation that really helps explain exactly how we're all in the situation we're in. I mean, I, yeah, I, don't, know, I don't know what else to say other than, like, uh, you know, just because, like, another country is behaving like America, it doesn't, um, it, it doesn't mean you have to lobotomize yourself as to the very people who made America, you know, uh, such an evil country in the first fucking place. Or at the very least, it means when they, when they are counseling you to take a course of action or scolding you for not demanding more action, I mean, I'm sorry, like, that's, you can say it's ad hominem or whatever, but, like, I mean, people's character really, uh, do, and records really do count when they're when they're the people with the they're they're the ones trying to influence uh, the, like out, outcomes in, in 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 a world that they've created. Like I said, nobody nobody wants to get what they wish for. And also, at the very same time that uh, they demand us to rally around the flag for this war and insist that America is not up for discussion any of its acts, uh, they're supporting the fucking the petropolitics that fuel literally this entire conflict. Like if we'd spent the last uh, thirty years or so maybe trying to wean ourselves off of uh, fossil fuels, we might not have a geopolitical chessboards laid out the way it is, where this kind of like inevitable, uh, at the end of the day, resource conflict becomes the only uh, like action states can ca- carry out in their own interest. Uh, we wouldn't be in this fucking situation. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think that, that does it for me on uh, on Ukraine today. I mean, these are just, uh, like I said, two very clarifying examples of, you know, the the very people responsible for everything that this country has done that is exactly like what Russia is doing to Ukraine right now is, you know, out in full force to remind you that, you know, they're the serious, sensible people and that they should always, that, that you know. And again, like, I, like who, where is this, like, where is this groundswell of people in America or the West or anywhere in the world coming out like strongly in favor of Vladimir Putin and like, you know, fondly wishing him the greatest of success in this, in this current war he's waging. I mean, there are some people, I guess like Tucker is out there uh, enraging them every night. And and then there is like some native uh, largely right-wing sympathy for uh, the Putin project, but none of it has any influence on anything. It's absolutely beside the point in every way. It's like, you're not saying anything to anyone when you own the tankies. You are just reaffirming your allegiance to a master narrative that has only one real outcome, you know? Uh, escalation yeah. of conflict. And I guess yeah, like, yeah, the, uh, I mean, the like, at best, at best what you're doing when you write a fucking article about the tankies is showing other writers how normal you are. And believe me, they do not think that of you. You're winning no points for the left. You're winning no points for yourself. No one thinks you're normal. Everyone just sees the fucking anxiety dripping off you when you do it. And, you know, I, I guess I'll, I'll close bringing, a, bringing this up. And, like, I, I don't mean to be, like, I don't, I don't want to, like, this isn't doom saying on my part because these people, thankfully, have uh, almost no influence as well. But I have been, I got to say, I don't think it's going to happen, but I've been, I've been, let's just say, a little bit disturbed by which the ease with which a lot of, like, uh, you know, uh, liberal hawks, and these are people who don't really have like media purchases, but people like cheering on this war who have now adopted the position that like a nuclear exchange between America and Russia would be like not that big of a deal. I've, yeah, I've seen people fine. say that I've seen people say that nuclear winter is only theoretical, 
And like, you know, they actually, actually I've read some studies that say like, you know, that wouldn't happen. And it's, everyone's turning into Buck Turgidson. And it's just like, look, I, I, like, I don't think these people have any real uh, influence, thank God. And, you know, uh, uh, Biden doesn't seem to be too uh, in, into uh, the idea of a no-fly zone either. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I, 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 I'm not worried. I hope I don't eat my words on this. But it is nonetheless disturbing to see the ease with which people are like, we shouldn't let, you know, like there's a lot of people who are like, we shouldn't let a fear of World War II deter us from doing what's right here. I mean, World War III, regardless. But it's just like, no, like that's a, that's a pretty good reason to fucking, <laughs> that's a pretty good deterrent here. You know what I mean? I, uh, I got to say, thankful for Brandon. Thank you, well, Brandon. I mean, it's, it's just recognizing reality. It's just, it's just seeing uh, the actual window for act, like realistic action, which is never the same as, as what we have to tell ourselves in, in our public discourse that we have because you know, we, we can't face that level of uh, neuteredness. But within that window, this is the only game in town. You know, just hope you can drain the Russians uh, and, and uh, avoid an escalation that just, you know, and put the hurt on them so that they have to come to the table or at the very least uh, are, are significantly weakened. I mean, it's got its own significant risks, but uh, in terms of, you know, from, from the realist perspective, dealing with the mess that's now been created, it's the only, only real way forward. But, you know, these people are going to refuse to believe that and, and, and assert their, uh, their denial uh, in their pointless mewling about the failure of national will to do what needs to be done. I am um, and also to see if uh, we talked about this uh, this weekend, if Russia takes the role of the world's Brandon, the world's Mac. Yeah. And if 10 years from now, it's it's like, OK, Russia really had to take one on the fucking chin and ha just get cut out of everything. If you're using Apple Pay, the, you know, the floor fell out from under you and you're dropped underneath the Moscow subway. Uh as the need, the the needed uh, impetus to get everyone off the dollar, and if there was if there was some internal talks where China was like, well, you know, no one wants to like no one wants to take the first step in this, but I I mean, what's one country on our side that is ready to suffer? Not the one with a burgeoning new middle class. I don't know. It'll be an interesting next ten years. Indeed. Have you guys also like uh, on this? Like, have you have you followed the way in which like uh, the blob has been treating uh, that guy John was a Mearsheimer, the, yeah. the, the realist, oh, re the realist foreign policy guy? And like, look, I mean, like they're, they're pointing to it like a, like a paper he wrote in 2014 that basically laid out like basically just saying like Ukraine, like don't trust all this bullshit that Washington's pushing you into because when push comes to shove, they're not gonna they're not gonna have your back. Yeah, like that they're yeah, leading sure. you down a, a a as he said, it's a primrose path into disaster with new this. phone and who like, dissed yeah and you know i mean like in 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 dc in the blob there is no sin worse than being right mm -hmm. and like they're trying to say that like oh like if, if you hear like the uh, what's his name uh, lavrov the russian foreign minister like he approvingly cited mearsheimer's paper so so it was mearsheimer actively doing russian propaganda it's just like i mean this is this is this is the fruits of russiagate man this yeah. is the fruits of like every looking at every problem with America and just saying, oh, Russia did that to us. Well, the reason anyone, that, anyone who says any truth about the world is just like is going to be suspect. Some of his little blog larva students like wrote to the fucking teacher, wrote to the, the dean or something making because he made them feel bad. He, he gave them a tummy ache. Oh, and yeah. And these, they, want, they fucking went to the, the principal. God. Yeah, the U Chicago kids, yeah, bugs. Um, yeah, I mean, and the real the reason they're like particularly fucking angry at Mearsheimer is he gave up the game, which is what does America do but gas you up, make you give up fucking just uh, fucking oceans of blood, lose your children, your brothers, your sisters, your parents, uh, in a war that we will. I mean, we'll send you some guns. We'll make sure they end up uh, with the worst people in your entire country. But we're not really going to be there with you. That is the real thing they don't want to hear because it's a yeah. nasty, fucking evil thing that America does. Gas people up and then we're not really there for them when shit hits the fan. And that is the real reason that everyone from these uh, the blob elders to the people who will be the blob elders, these you Chicago students, really fucking freaked out on the, 
on him because they know they've either either done that or will do that. And also he tells them something that they all understand at some level, but just spend all of their days ritually uh, disavowing, which is that, hey, uh, Russia's a country with power and interests and it will yeah. pursue them. Like him pointing that out, that, that they they really think no, that that's doing that's now, doing uh, Russian propaganda etiquette yeah. to bring this up because no what what Putin does is up to us we yep. get to determine what he does no he gets a say in this and, and, and what like, ends up happening is a negotiation between the fucking powers that if by definition has to be like that's that's there is no we don't possess the ability to negate his entire range of uh, action that and that you cannot accept that. And, you know, like, I mean, yeah, this is the thing. And, like, look, it's not like the, uh, the you know, University of Chicago Realist Foreign Policy School offers, like, you know, t too many jewels that I would uh, counsel uh, heeding their advice. But the thing is, despite the fact that it's in the name Realists, I mean, like, if, 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 if you were arguing or out, out laying out a case that, like, look, America, we're going to we're gonna have to take our medicine. We're going to have to swallow this pill and fucking deal with the world as it actually exists. That is like that is going to put that like that is dangerous. You are going to be uh, slandered be, be before that. And like it, w what we said here is like uh, like um, uh, it, like America doesn't have to do any of these things. Like we could begin to negotiate a way out of our empire and our way out of being a global military hegemon that thinks that like yes, what Putin does is up to us. We could use our considerable wealth and influence to negotiate a way in which we are one of, not, not the indispensable nation, but one of several nations that, uh, you know, uh, that in concert with one another, like, has to make uh, concessions and, like, there's a, a give and a take that we cannot just, we neither have the, the will, the capacity, or the right to uh, continue uh, to, to pretend like it's, you know, like 1950 all over again, or even 1998. It's just, it's not there. And are we gonna are we gonna choose the path where we're gonna um, escalate every conflict in the world by client or proxy or directly, um, so that we can like uh, you know hang on to whatever morsels of like geopolitical dominance that we have left to us, or are we gonna take a, a, a different path, and one that you know sometimes involves uh, you know meaning that that we're not number one anymore, or that or that Ru or that Russia and China's ambitions are no different than the ambitions of this country. Well, I thought I thought that was one of the absolute best reasons to support Bernie was that he was someone who could negotiate America's step down from the single power in the world. Something that is coming no matter no matter what you say, no matter what feelings you have inside, no matter how much you warn people that the multipolar world is scary and pointy and fucking gross, that it's happening That's like no it's matter scary, what. So what? It's right. happening. It's happening. There's nothing you could do about it except for negotiate our exit and create the conditions for there at least to be some type of peace. Uh, Nixon instead, tried to do it first, and they fucking stitched him up for it and have been yeah. ever since. Instead, we are going to get delusion, and we are going to drag everyone will, else with us on our way down, and we will, not, yeah, and how we, will not, we will not get the things that other empires that ended their empires got, which is at least a glut of social welfare policies at home. We will not even get that. We're going to get delusion right down to the cinders. Mm. And, you know, I mean, and that is the terrifying thing about all this. Because, like, you know, like, like we're, we're, we have not reached the acceptance stage yet. And we're, we're, we haven't even done bargaining. We're just in anger at this point. And I really feel it's going to... How, how, many, how many other people in other countries are going to die so that we can hang on to this fucking, these fucking illusions? And we can continue to tell the rest of the world, uh, you know, uh, uh, what is good and evil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you're seeing all the old, all the tricks the empires uh, are, are always done. Uh, gassing up this group of people over there, giving X amount of weapons that end up with God knows who, always end up with the most extreme groups because guess what? Moderate groups don't last that fucking long in war. Leave them high and dry, leave them out. But with the new tools of being called a heartless and a scumbag, if you if you don't participate in the gassing up, we'll we'll light a billion fires around the world as we always have done, but uh, just with worse articles than ever. Just fine. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I think that uh, does it uh, for today's show. But uh, before we go, uh, a few, a bit of house cleaning, a few announcements regarding our upcoming uh, Texas jaunt. Hello. Yes, I do have some good news about the uh, for all of you who are not able to uh, enter our or win our ticket giveaway contest for the South by Southwest show. I have been informed by Patreon that there will be a certain amount of free general admission 
spots held open for our South by Southwest show this coming Sunday, March 13th at Cheer Up Charlie's at 4 p.m. at Austin. Uh, now, spots in this uh, venue are going to go to uh, South by Southwest badge holders first uh, and our guaranteed uh, 50 people who won our contest. But the total space there, I'm told, is something like 600 people. So whatever amount of people you think will show up by South by Southwest to see us speak, 600 minus that, there will be that many spots left available. So if you want to show up and wait and see us for free for general admission, that is a possibility. No guarantee of if you will get in, but I can't imagine that we're going to get 600 uh, South by Southwest badge holders out for this. So um, yeah, no. We don't have any, uh, our panel will not discuss uh, any ways uh, to nft yes. anything, so I doubt it. Uh, so that is available, and hope we get as many of you guys in as possible. Uh, but if not, uh, we will also be at Long Play Lounge East on the 16th. Uh, we might have some extra spots for that. If we can get extra people in at the door, I will announce that in the, some of the next few shows. And, of course, still a few spots remaining at, for Dallas on March 18th, a few spots remaining for Houston on March 22nd and uh, many spots remaining in New Orleans. Uh, please come out to that show. That's going to be fun. We might have some special guests for New Orleans. Uh, so we'll keep you posted on those as well. New Orleans is on, of course, March 24th. Uh, those are my announcements. Hopefully see you guys, as many of you as possible, at Cheer Up Charlie's in Austin on 4 p.m. this Sunday. We cannot wait. We're so excited to go to Texas to adhere to the local BDS laws. This is going to be... This is going to be a tour to remember. At South by Southwest, I will be uh, I will be introducing my new uh, completely black soles of my feet in the metaverse, <laughs> the first dirty floor in the metaverse. There's going to be a lot of fun. I think I don't know what we have. Like your best shot is in New Orleans. Everywhere yeah. else is it everywhere else is sold We're out. We're approaching Almost. sold out. I don't know Almost. everywhere else. Yeah, yeah. New Orleans is a significantly so, bigger venue, though. Yeah, we'll see yeah. you there.